Hello guys, I'm the Builder and welcome to my 15th commentary, today again in the T25 AT. And as you know this is Runeberg and I'm definitely far from top tier, actually the top tier tanks are tier 8. Which is not very nice and don't ram me like that, why would you do that? Ah, people just can't drive. Okay, anyway, only way to actually get proper kills with this tank is to either outrange or simply outsmart the enemy. I choose the former to outrage them. Uh, outrange, not outrage. Didn't want to get them too angry with me. Would not be too good. Anyway, uh, it's good to snipe just along that street, but you know what the street lacks? bushes on top of it. So what do you do if you don't have bushes on a road? You make one yourself. Just that this time it didn't just quite work. Okay. So one thing already went wrong and that's so far pretty much the only thing. I was a bit hoping for the T21 to well just um, get out on the uh, on the street so I could shoot him in the face, but uh, no, he didn't fulfill my wish. So I have to go and get him. And he should be running any minute now. It's a bit weird to talk about something while you already know what's going to happen. I try to wait for that uh, stuff to happen. Okay, Um. anyway. The T25 AT is bloody fast, so I can actually um, get up to him and shoot his tracks. Honestly, I would have one-shot him um, if I could, but somehow <sighs> the damage effort didn't work. Plus minus 25%, classic. And this is where it gets really bad. I had to capture every scene twice, and thanks for blocking my shot, Amex 12T. I really had to record every scene twice because um, my PC didn't work. Second time, it was still pretty bad with the FPS drops. I was recording with about an average of 10 frames per second. Nothing you could actually watch. Then I restarted my PC and um, captured it again. And except for those last 10 seconds, it was perfectly fine. So I uh, said, okay, I'll take what I can get. So I took what I could get and attacked my enemy from behind. Let's see how long it takes them to notice that a 105mm gun just aiming at your goddamn butt, which should actually set you on fire if you think about it. Sadly, that doesn't quite happen. Now, on the other hand, the portal armor is withstanding a bit. Actually, the tracks just try to take the shots. Usually the only thing on that tank that bounces shells is uh, the ball mount. Apparently that doesn't get hit very often because it's simply not quite big. But as big as let's say on the ISU. But anyway, I survive the fight, the tiger burns, and well, dies. Also my kill list. And hello KP1S, you flanked me while flanking your entire team. Very smart, but not smart enough to wait my sh uh, evade my shell. And I'm pretty lucky that T32 is going for the type instead of me, because if he went for me, I'm pretty sure I would be dead within two shells. The type can take a bit more of a beating. And the type goes for the KB1S. The KB1S wastes the shell, and hello, here I am. Bye bye. And shite T32 going for me? No, no, no. He shot me in the face. But at least it wasn't deadly. So, I obviously can't take another shot, so I retreat behind the corner. And the K1S thinks can get through there. Probably can't. Don't know whether there's actually a gap you could uh, pass through, but since it didn't go through there. Doubt it actually um, 
is a passage. It just would have been a perfect opportunity. But the type flanks him. I get to come from behind and burn, motherfucker! And die. Win win situation. Round one, five kills without being top tier in a, well, mediocre uh, tank destroyer. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. That's all for me. See you some other time.